Hello everyone, welcome back to Sky Revolutions. Between episodes, I made a second reactor and I made a platform for what we're doing today, which is mechanism. So, um, this second to last quest line is all about mechanism. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work our way through this. Um, this episode, I think this is probably going to be two episodes because I don't know that we're going to get antimatter this episode. Although, hmm, I wonder if we can get to a point where we're making antimatter this episode i don't know we'll see we'll see how the things go um anyway let's get into mechanism so first off we're gonna need to make a metallurgy confuser nice and easy um let's go ahead and trade, teach that to our tablet um i'm gonna come over here to our new mechanism platform and i want some cables and i want some uh, flux point. Okay. So, flux point, do a cable, metallurgy confuser. All right. So, this is the input slot for, like, the um, thing we're infusing with, and this is the input slot for the things we're infusing. So, if we get iron, um, and redstone, and osmium. Uh, so, we're going to put in one, two, three redstone. So we have 30 mil buckets of redstone. We'll throw in one iron ingot. And when that's done, we'll throw in an osmium ingot. Let's go ahead and just speed this up a little bit. Okay, so there we have our um, basic alloy, or infused alloy, and our basic um, control circuits. Um, then we can craft those together into, oh, wait, uh, this one. Then we can craft those together into the advanced control circuit. And then we can, um, let's see, turn our infused alloy into reinforced alloy with, uh, we have to have diamond something in here. Now, ideally, if you're in a pack without EMC, you're going to use this enriched diamond. Um, in an enrichment chamber, you're going to throw a diamond in here, and that will give you, I think, eight times as much per diamond. But because we have, like, infinite EMC right now, um, we're going to go ahead and run this over to our create um crushing wheels let's go ahead and turn this off uh ooh, does this have emc it does hmm. here's what i'm gonna do move this over here drop a couple of these in here okay diamond grit has been learned uh, we can go and put this back now. And turn this back on. Not that it needs to be on. We have plenty of EMC, but... Okay. And now we go all the way back over here. We throw our diamond grit over here. And we throw a infused alloy in here. And we need more diamond grit. I didn't look at how much I needed. Probably two. Yep. Okay. And then that will make um, our reinforced alloy, which can then be taught to here and be used to make our elite control circuit. Um, do you need to teach that to? Should I need to teach all this to um, our table, or our tablet here? And then to upgrade that, we need to get this atomic alloy, which takes um, enriched obsidian, or refined obsidian, which is metallurgically infusing diamond into obsidian dust, which we can get also from crushing over here, or we can make the next thing we have to make, which is going to be the crusher. Uh, oh, not the next thing, but one of the next things. Crusher. And place that there. And then let's get some obsidian. Throw it in here. Huh? Is it in the enrichment chamber? Um, it is in the enrichment chamber. Okay. We can make that too, because we got to make it for the quest anyway. So, enrichment chamber. So you can throw here. Put obsidian in here. Let's speed this up a little bit. 
And then let's get some diamond. And we can throw a whole, let's not throw a whole stack in there. That's going to be a waste. But if we have excessive stuff, we can just dump it with this dump button. So let's go ahead and speed you up as well. There's our refined obsidian dust. Obsidian. Oh, this has an EMC. Okay, let's go ahead and teach that too. Uh, and then we put, let's see. Uh, this needs 40. And this gives uh, 10. So we need four of these. All right, let's throw those in. Oh, let's dump this. Throw those in there. And then get our alloy. Oh. And speed it up. Okay. Uh, let's teach this the tablet. And then let's use this to upgrade to our final control circuit. Cool. All right. Uh, we got the crusher and we got the um, enrichment chamber. Uh, next, we need to make a combiner, which is also how we're going to get the last of the quests and other chapters done. For instance, we need to get an infinity pipe upgrade, which means we need to get a pipe upgrade. And we need to get our stellarium plate. We are going to need another one of those, so uh, let's go ahead and start making that. Okay, now in our combiner, we can throw a Cobble Gen Tier 5 and a Star Lion Plate. And we can speed this up. We get our Cobbler, which finished the quest line. And we get our Infinity Pipe Upgrade, which should also finish a quest line. Um, and we can just throw these in the system because we don't need them. All right, so I think, yeah, all of our quest lines are done except for the ones we're working on. Perfect. Okay, uh, that's done, that's done, crusher's done, ultimate crushing factory. All right, so we can take our crusher here and we can upgrade it to first a basic crushing factory, then to a advanced crushing factory, then to a, an elite crushing factory, and finally to the top tier ultimate crushing factory, which gives us a lot of slots to crush things in. Uh, and this auto sort thing will, if you put like a stack of items here, it'll fill it all the way to the, um, it'll basically spread them evenly between the spaces. Okay. So we've seen the crushing factory. Um, now we need to get HTPE sheets and um, reprocess fist aisle fuel. So let's go for the HTPE sheets first. So to get these, we need to get 32 HTPE in an arc furnace. Um, HTPE pellets don't have EMC, the cheats do, so we only really have to do this once. So we need 32 pellets, which means we need to do this 32 times. So we need substrate, oxygen, and liquid ethylene. So the way we get our oxygen is through a electrolytic separator, which can separate um, any kind of water into hydrogen and oxygen. Um, and the way to get our liquid ethylene is to condensate um, ethylene the this is um the gaseous form of ethylene into liquid ethylene to get the ethylene we have to in a prc um do this craft which we have to do anyway because we have to get the substrate right so there's two ways to get substrate um this one requires you to have substrate to begin with so we're going to do this one um so that means we need to get hydrogen which we can get from the uh, electrolytic separator anyway and water which we can just pump it so that's easy um and then we need biofuel to do this, which is just crushing some plant life of some kind. Um, because we have EMC, doesn't really matter which one we choose. So I'm gonna get a couple stacks of sugarcane, throw it in our crushing factory. This is very slow, so let's get some speed upgrades. Uh, at mechanism upgrade, which are gonna require osmium dust, and the energy upgrades are gonna require gold grit, or gold dust, um, which is easy enough to make. We just throw gold and osmium into our crushing factory. So. I'll be back when we have upgrades for everything. Okay, so we already had gold dust from previous stuff we needed it for. Uh, the rose gold or rose quartz or whatever it was. So now we have... Oh, not that. Um, let's get eight stacks of the stuff, I guess. 
uh, each stack is how many can go into a um, machine. So eight of a thing can go in a machine. Um, and we can just shift right click these onto the machines to input them in there. And look at that, we got many, many stacks of biofuel. Um, all right, let me get all these things upgraded. Actually, I should probably upgrade these to their factory versions before doing that. So let's go ahead and uninstall all these. Uninst or uninstall all these. Pick this up and do this for all of them. And I think the upgrading path is just the same for all of these. Um, it's going to be, oh, yeah, this, and then this, and then this, and this. this. So I'm going to get these all upgraded to the, the highest tier factories, and we'll be back. Okay, so because we only have to do this like 32 times, um, I'm not worried about doing it manually right now. So we can do it manually. Um, so I need a PRC, which I have almost everything for. Um, let's see. I need a dynamic tank. Oh, combiner with a fluid tank. Okay, should be two. Okay. Um, that's an easy recipe. We can do that. And then these basic chemical tanks. Okay, now here, here we have our pressurized reaction chamber, um, which you can place here, I guess. We're probably going to need two of these, right? Uh, one to make the substrate and one to make the HTPE pellets. So actually, it says EMC, right? Well, let's just grab another one. Nice and easy. All right. So this one's going to be to make the substrate. It's going to output into this one, which will make the HTPE pellets. All right, cool. Electrolytic separator should be an easy recipe too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're missing one thing, which is this thing, which we're missing something for. Iron dust. Let's get an ironing it out. And throw it in our crusher. Teach that to the tablet. And make an electrolytic separator. Uh, do I want to teach us to the probably not that it really matters but the more I teach that the less I have to craft later right um this can't be upgraded it can be taught here in case you need another one all right so first we need hydrogen are these still sided how they used to be or can you change all the sides now you can change all the sides now okay cool uh, it used to be that like hydrogen would come out this side and um, oxygen would come out this side which would mean that I'd have to place it this way but I think we can switch it around so uh, gases we want uh, this one to be blue and this one to be nothing um, eject on and we can dump our oxygen on this one um, you know what can we do oh, can we do this um, Can we put an everlasting, whatever it's called, Evertide Amulet in here? And then can we upgrade these with speed and some power? Cool. Now that's full of hydrogen. It will stop. Um, let's get a few of these. Okay. So this one is making substrate with water and hydrogen. Um, hmm. this one we might have to actually fill with water you know what we can do is you can make a tank for mechanism so we got this one and then we can do uh, this one okay and then we can have this on top um, fill mode Empty mode, yeah, empty mode. And then we can have on top, um, fluids, input, uh, let's try this. Like this with a pipe. And we'll grab our pipe wrench. We'll grab a pipe upgrade. This should be plenty. Okay. And then if we throw this in here with a speed and energy upgrade. 
And there's a substrate. Oh, the ethylene went into this one. Oops. Okay. Um, that's fine. Does it still have the ethylene in it? It does. Okay. We'll grab another pressurize. And we'll throw it here. Then we'll get our... Uh, that's all done. We'll get our rotary decontentionator. Which needs an energy tablet. Which can be taught to the system. And then... Got one of those. And this can be in... So the... The big side is the fluid, the small side is the gas. It doesn't really matter because, um, like I said, you can change the sides, but. Uh, let's go ahead and set this up with these and these. And there we have our liquid ethylene. We need oxygen, which means we need another electrolytic separator, or we could use this, the oxygen from this one as well, but um, nothing is like the bottleneck resource in this case, so we can do it this way with one of you, and you can be dumping excess. Okay, we throw our substrate in here. We need, we have liquid ethylene, right? Um, we have plenty to make the 32 HDPL pellets. We need oxygen, which for some reason is not automatically going in there, so we're going to go ahead and do the workaround, which is to get the, isn't there a pipette? Oh, it's called the gauge dropper. All right, we grab this, go in here, pick up our oxygen, drop it in here. Why can't it? Okay, there we go. And that should be plenty to get our 32 HDPE pellets, right? Correct. Then we take these all the way over here to the arc furnace. All right. There's our three HP pellets or sheets. We can throw that in there, along with all this stuff. Okay. So that is that done. Um, all these things over here are just machines to craft. I will craft them real quick um, off camera. So we have the quest done, and we have the machines ready if we need to use them later on. Okay, so fissile fuel, reprocessed fissile fragments at least, which becomes fissile fuel. Um, it's pretty easy to make. Uh, we have infinite mana, so this is, you know, fine. Or we have infinite power, so this is fine. Uh, either way, it's pretty easy to make, but I don't know how much of it we're going to need. Um, we could do the actual, like, normal mechanism way to do it, but that's a long process that we don't need to do because we have this recipe and this recipe. So, I don't know how much reprocessed fissile fragments we're going to need, because I don't know how much fissile fuel we're going to need to get enough um, antimatter. So I do have a setup here that is making a whole bunch of substrate. So we are crushing um, sugarcane. This is very much overkill. We are turning water into hydrogen and oxygen. We're then pumping the hydrogen and the water into here with biofuel to make the substrate and ethylene. We're then using water and ethylene to make the substrate into eight substrate. Um, we're pumping the oxygen into this ultimate chemical tank. Uh, when this fills up, that's probably going to be when this process stops. Uh, and then we're pumping the substrate into here. We have 2.3k. I have filled this up with a whole bunch of emerald storage upgrades, so we will never ever like fill this up ever. Um, that being said, I will. I'm going to mute all the mechanism stuff. All right, much better. I can hear myself think now. Um, and yeah, this is set to um, empty. So, uh, yeah, this is all. Running, self-sufficient, we just need sugarcane, and it's making absolute crazy numbers amount of um, substrate, and we're going to have a ton of oxygen here that, uh, you know what, dumping excess. We will never, until this George fills up, we will never um, stop making substrate. So, that is a thing we could do in... Um, what I'm looking for storage, uh, external storage, and a. They're not called wireless. I was thinking about this last time. What was I? Um, hard. We want network. 
I think. Network um, transmitter and a network or receiver. So this here, we'll click it with the card. That's set to that now. We'll set this up here. Um, priority like a whole bunch. And we can insert and extract from that. Um, then we can go all the way over here. Uh, we don't have anything else that needs speed upgrade. Okay. Go all the way back over here. And connect that up. And the mechanism island will be connected to our system. I think that counts, right? Depends. Can we see substrate? We can. Alright. Cool. So, that is... All of that done. Um, hmm. Where's the output on this thing? Right here. So I get a drawer. And I place it here. And I get our substrate. And I throw it in here. Okay, that's not output. Is this the output? Yes. Okay. And then I get a key. Uh, actually, I get a key from in here. Yep. And I lock this. And then I get some storage upgrades of the emerald tier. Okay. And then I get a storage. And I get an exporter and I get some stack and speed upgrades and I get uh, some cables not can I want cables these ones uh, and then I go to and I think the left side here is this side and the right side is this one and I throw that there um, Let's see that there and I go up here and connect these up I grab a substrate here and a stack and speed upgrades and connect this up okay is this working yes we're making a ton of bits off fragments and we can probably see them in our system this aisle Quest? Yes. Uh, we want this to be a high priority. And, alright, so we have... Alright, cool. We're making is basically infinite amount of this. Um, the one thing I want to do... Let's move this out here. Here. Priority 70. And connect that back up. And let's get a cable or a pipe. And a pipe there. And that. And there. Okay, now we're not backlogging on Fissile stuff, right? We're taking it up, yeah, pretty much instantly. So it's going to be much faster to make that stuff. Um, I think we're making. Are, are we still. I think we're still making this faster than we're. Um, using it but that's um fissile fuel done or fissile fragments done um sweet all right this arc furnace will basically use up the substrate as fast as we'll pump it in um kind of it it's full um i've let it run for a while we have 150,000 reprocessed um fissile fragments so um probably not gonna be a problem but if we head back over here, um, we are using up all the substrate that we had, right? So we have no backlog. Um, so it's basically using up everything we have. So if we do this, I wonder if we can backlog. Yep, that's backlogging pretty fast. Um, this is, yeah, this is our um, bottleneck. But that's fine, because that's, that's uh, working with the pedestal. It's going to be backlogged. And then we're making basically the reprocessed fissile fragments as fast as possible. So that is good. 
Um, unfortunately, we're hitting pretty much the end of the time, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Next episode, we'll get back into mechanism. We'll get um, polonium going. We'll get this reactor, or the nitro reactor going from um, power. And we'll get um, up to making antimatter. And then I will let that run for a little bit, because we, we don't need a lot of antimatter, I don't think. Um, right? Because we only need... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we only really need technically one antimatter if we do things right. Um, but I'm going to try to make a bunch. Probably at least 16 to be safe. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to let that run after next episode um, to make some antimatter. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button down below. It really supports the channel. If you want to see more of this content and the other content on the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time for more Mechanism.